I think Go it's best that I share my story because yeah. my story connects more with people. I'm three years short of 50 years old, right? Yeah. And it's not as if I have 20 years or 25 years of experience because a lot of people would think, oh, I need to have this experience, get this degree. As you know, Nigeria, we're heavy on certification. I have to be MBA. I have to be MSc. I have to be BSc. I mean, you were a banker. Yes, I was a banker and I worked with channels as well. <laughs> so in my journey of Dublin, just learning this and learning that, all of those experiences formed. I had a midlife crisis, 2017. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And all of a sudden, going to the UK, I was exposed to this agile opportunities because the opportunities that come with this space, not just digital marketing, which everybody's running in that uh, direction, but agile, an average salary for a scrum master is 135,000 US dollars per annum. The reason that a lot of jobs in the US are going to India, going to Asia, is simply because they have learned the right skills, and which is data analytics, GDPR, agile scrum, Product, uh, project management, product owner, business analysis. And that is what Lento offered the first cohort, which was such a huge success. Even Scrum.org was shocked at the results that we recorded from our current student. It's unprecedented. And 80% of them are volunteering for organization in the UK, as I speak with you, because of the opportunity that Agile Space pro presents to us. This survival mode of... I have to win, I have to sell. You can't sustain it, and that's why we don't have successive generational wealth in Africa. We keep building, we start, we don't finish. We start, we don't finish. But in the Agile, it says start to finish. We have so many unemployment right now. I mean, high rate of unemployment because we have graduates that are unemployable. They can't even write letter. When you had me on this show, I told you, on Google Insight, in 2020, they are learning how to write a formal letter. That is a problem because our education system has failed. I don't want to be against the government, but I just feel they don't know what to do. And they keep bringing expatriates into the country with a solution mindset to a culturally diverse problem. We have, number one, a mindset issue. It's not because there's no internet. People are on the internet. But what are you doing on the internet is key. 